Welcome back to the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, and we are here in beautiful upstate New York at the Eastern Nationals. And right now, it's time for the big show. These are the big guns we've all been waiting for, the Pro Open Final. You do not want to miss this. The Amsoil Pro Open Final, all part of the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. MacMan, it's going to be his last race of the year. Again, we see T-Train. Look at how he's been stopping, checking out this racetrack very closely, but he's got 14 other combatants out there that all want to take that last win from him. You know, he's checking it out too with this base here. There is none. It's just mounds and mounds of sugar. He knows traction's going to be key. Stud Boy Hole Shot Award comes into play here. Of course, that donation to the Pink Ribbon Riders were just about ready to go green. The green comes down and Who's going to get the whole shot? Levi Lavalle. Wow, he made it first to the Sudboy Whole Shot Award, but what counts is to the turn one corner of Tucker Hibbert in the lead. Well, Hibbert out front, Lavalle in second, and Robbie Malinowski in third. And look at him, he's up doing some battling. And another one of the skidoos taking and peeking up there, that Danny Ebert. Boy, Robbie looks like he's picking up where he left off in races prior. Now, can he charge back up to the front and give Tucker what it takes to knock him off that podium? Well, Tucker Hibbert out front early on. We talked about that Stud Boy Hold Shot Award, that donation to the Pink Ribbon Riders in the name of Levi Lavalle uh, from Stud Boy. A big thanks goes out to them. And of course, Stud Boy, one of uh, Tucker's sponsors. Boy, and check it out. There is a stud right there. That boy is a stud by the name of Tucker Hibbert. It's still Lavalle in second, Malinowski in third. Good battle there, and uh, behind them, that appears to be the sled of Ross Martin. Oh, and Martin gets into Malinowski, huge. Ooh, that uh, might be a questionable hit there. That looked to me like he came right in. Okay, look at the top of your screen, Robbie's way high in the berm. Look at right there, big impact by Martin, man. Uh, he just became a berm. You can be sure Malinowski not happy. Let's take a look a little bit deeper in the field. Brett Bender did not have the best of start, but he's making his way around this racetrack. No, he sure is, boy. That snowmobile's ran well all week. And remember, he had a couple mishaps, but mostly it's been bad luck at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now he's got to put himself in a position, be at the right place at the right time. Well, he's got Danny Ebert right ahead of him. Brett Bender on that number 19 National Guard Polaris trying to make his way around, and he does make the pass. Boy, that was a great pass. Check this out right here. Now watch Bender at the bottom of your screen. Square up now on the throttle. Look at him lean over the hood, trying to pull that machine down to put the block on, executed to perfection. Well, he will take and move up. We continue to watch. It is still Tucker Hibbert out in front, looking so smooth, looking for pro win number 55. Now look at this, look at him going across here. He is the smoothest man on the track. And you're saying, well, is it really that rough out there? These holes are four and five feet deep. It is incredibly rough. Hibbert out in front as he continues to count down laps here at the Eastern Nationals, brought to you by Tyson Foods. He's just got a lap or so yet. This is the part now at the end of the race we're thinking, I hear noises. Is my suspension okay? Is the driveline okay? Is everything all right? Am I going to make it to the finish line and win? He does. Double checkered flag. Tucker Hibbert takes the win. It is pro win number 55. What a way to wrap up his season. And here's the way they finish in the Amsoil Pro Open Final. Now let's head down to the Amsoil Winner's Circle and Misha Johnson. What does that mean for you to win here? I mean, it's awesome. I got friends, family, and it's so great to see everybody out here. So I'm excited all these people stuck around to see the end of it. I know it got real cold, so thanks a lot, guys. What do you think about the track here in New York? Uh, it turned out pretty good, but most of all, the fans are awesome. Thanks a lot for coming. Fans, do you hear that? Yeah, you, still standing. This one's for you. What do you want to say to all your fans out there? Just thanks for the support, you know, especially every here, everyone here in New York. I wasn't here last year. It's been uh, 07 was the last time I was here, so I wanted to come out here, have uh, my last race be on the East Coast because I know there's a lot of diehard snowmobile fans, and, and I thank you guys for your support. Thanks for staying out here so late to cheer us on. You know, I'll be back next year. And what is up next for you? I'm going to go sit on the couch for a while. <laughs> I, I did my work this year, so I get to relax now. Well, what's up next for Tucker Hibbert? It's motocross. Tucker goes from snowcross to motocross, Back to the dirt track he goes, Paul. Boy, he just marches to a different drum right now, but there's something he's chasing. It's his dream, and there he goes. 
When the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series returns, a look back at a fabulous weekend of racing from fireworks to flips to an airborne Garth Kaufman. Paul Mack recaps and reviews highlights from the Eastern Nationals.